Earlier this evening, many gathered at the popular restaurant Hallamau's to celebrate the reveal of its very own Mississippi Blues Trail marker. 12 News' Jalen Anderson has more on the historic honor. Three, two, one! A business that has served Jackson and surrounding cities as both a restaurant and concert venue will now be remembered to the end of time. Hal and Miles is now home to the 261st Blues Trail Marker. Former owner Malcolm White says he never would have thought a day like this would happen when they first opened back in 1985. Never dreamed that we would be on the Blues Trail. Uh, never in our wildest dreams. But I've always been really interested in blues music and I've always made sure that we booked blues music as part of what we offer because it is truly a Mississippi product, something that we should be proud of. And I say all the time that Mississippi's greatest asset is our story, our art and culture and music and food. I mean, this is who we are. Many shared the many memories they had together at Blues Monday or just grabbing a bite to eat while enjoying real authentic blues being played in the background. Well, you know, this turnout is just fabulous. And it's a testament to how much people appreciate and support the blues, which was founded and birthed right here in Mississippi. But it's also a testament to the fine place that Hal and Miles holds in a lot of people's hearts. Uh, this place is where uh, folks grew up. It's, it's where they came into a knowledge of the blues. It's where uh, uh, the cultural expression that we present in Mississippi is out front and center, and we really appreciate this kind of a turnout. The Blues Trail marker represents a major landmark in the history of Mississippi Everybody. and tells the story of why Mississippi is the birthplace of America's music. We're the greatest storytellers in, the, in America, and I think this is one of the ways in which we tell our story really well. And these trails are highly successful. They bring people to, to Mississippi. They make us proud. They build civic pride. And they tell the story about our state, a positive story that we need told. In Jackson, Jalen Anderson, 12 News.